I can't believe we're doing this. We are cleared for Christmas. I got a turkey shirt on. <laughs> it is just that fun time of the year when we really embrace oh, I love it. the smiles and that's okay. And we're here to give you guys some holiday gift buying ideas. It gets hard sometimes right around Christmas time. Abby has come to me and said, Nate, I need some ideas. And I start going to YouTube looking for ideas for myself. There's definitely cool things that exist for the RC hobbyist that you probably just don't know are out there. And that's what this video is here to do is give you guys some gift ideas for the RC enthusiast. So let's just get right into the list. The first thing Nate put on his list that every RC enthusiast needs is a LiPo alarm. Plus he added the smart battery checker in there too. <laughs> so, so a LiPo alarm is basically a small voltage checker and most people think that's all it's good for. This is like a two dollar, maybe three dollar now with inflation stuff. <laughs> a very cheap investment that can literally save you hundreds if not thousands of dollars just by keeping a close look at the health of your batteries. But where a lot of people don't understand uh, these come in really handy is you can plug them into your battery while you're flying or driving and when it gets low it will beep really loudly letting you know you should come in for a landing before you drain your battery too low. It also comes in handy while you're charging and managing your batteries on the ground because you can just plug it in and see how full or dead your battery is. And now the batteries have almost doubled in price over the last couple of years. This is the absolute best time to stuff 10 of these in your stocking, pass them out like candy when you go to the airfield <laughs> and you'll have new best friends because of this cool little device. Go check out the video if you wanna learn how this thing works and read through the thousands of comments where this thing is literally saving people. I know it sounds like a horrible sales pitch or something, but it's saving people thousands of dollars and we really show you and break down how to use this thing in that video. The second thing on the list is a car stand or a plane stand. Listen, we all buy our cars and love looking at them. Half of the fun, we know it, we might not want to admit it, is putting it on the shelf and just looking at it, right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so, whether you're buying gigantic Lowe's shelves like we have, or just nice little display stands to really show that thing off and be able to turn it around and put it on display. And it makes it easier to work on. That's exactly right. You've got to pick up an RC car stand, and they do exist for airplanes too. We'll have all this stuff linked in the description box below, but these are must-haves and uh, super fun to unwrap under the tree around Christmas time. Number three on the list is a hot glue gun. Now last year I mentioned that I was gonna buy Nate the Ryobi hot glue gun that kind of looks like a, an actual drill. And I did, and the boy loves it. It's wireless. It is straight up the coolest hot glue <laughs> gun I've ever seen. And I'm not talking about your grandma's arts and crafts hot glue gun here. I'm talking about, you know, you put that battery in just like your power drill and you go hur, 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 and it is, it gets hot and powerful and it's great to bring to the airfield. You can impress all your friends when you crash your plane and you're back in the air in 30 seconds because hot glue <laughs> is the magic that keeps us in the air. Plus Nate has his magic special hot glue that he highly recommends so I'll make sure I have that in the description box. And just so you guys know those links go to helping support our channel and our growing family Ugh. so if you ever so big if, ever so fast if you, is. if you guys want to help support us and you know i'm not saying go out and buy everything on the list but if your hot glue stick stock is getting low and you need to replenish it then please do consider at least clicking the link and buying the good stuff it won't cost you a single extra penny but it does go to help keep this awesome channel up and running if you are going to buy something off of amazon or any of the websites if you click our links prior to purchasing, we will get credit for that. That's right. So that always helps. We are just very grateful and we thank you for at least considering doing that. All right, back to the list. Number four on the list is one of my favorite things ever. And I think Nate will agree to this. It is a portable electric generator. Oh my gosh. You're the cool kid on the block when you show up with this boom box <laughs> of a generator on your shoulder. How many milliamps are they? Like 500 million thousand. It's I amazing. Love it. So, you know, all these guys, if you go, let's say you go to an airfield or a lake or something and you don't have power to keep charging your three batteries that you brought. Some guys, what they'll do is crank up the generator and just cause noise and chaos. And it just drowns out the fun. I hate those loud generators when you're out in an airfield flying, but you can show up with your quiet, 
no fumes, awesome solar panel generator. It's just a giant battery. You plug in your charger, you plug in a big fan, you plug in whatever it is, your wife's iPad, you know. We've even recommended this to some of our friend, friends that are wedding photographers and videographers because we've been in this situation where we're kind of worried we're gonna run out of batteries a filming idea. a wedding day. And so we've even told them, you guys need this, keep it in your car on a wedding day so you'll never have to worry about your batteries again. And a lot of people fly their planes and other RC things at fields where they don't have access to power. So you've gotta buy like 20 batteries if you wanna keep going for the whole day or the whole weekend. Uh, or you can do this and you can literally have three or four plane batteries and keep them going on this and these generators can run on sale sometimes around two three hundred dollars depending on what size you get they can be even cheaper than that but some of the bigger better ones uh, and we will link those in the description box they make amazing gifts even for people like Abby said that aren't RC enthusiasts maybe you're just a camper person you like to go camping you know every month uh, I mean in my opinion everybody needs one of these especially if you don't have like a, a generator for your house like when the electric goes off they can run like, a fridge for 12 yeah. hours yeah and, and so and that's straight I mean you could run your fridge for an hour leave it unplugged for two keep it going for literally days with one of these yes. things it's one of the coolest things ever number five on this list and in my opinion we can never have too many at least in our house are ammo cans so ammo cans sound like a really weird thing when we're That's talking weird. about RC stuff, but they come in great for batteries because LiPo batteries, if you don't take care of them properly and just sometimes at random, can be slightly dangerous. It's just a fact. People have had their houses burned down uh, from LiPo fires and it's a really sad uh, truth really. So we highly recommend that you do try your best to store your batteries as properly as possible and one of the safest ways to do that is in an ammo can. Now it's important to remember that you don't want to lock that ammo can. And yeah, I'm talking about good old World War II and even current modern day ammo cans. Yeah, I'll try to link some uh, for you guys to find on the internet, but we've had really good luck at Rural King. Rural King just so or know. just like um, <laughs> army surplus stores. Yeah. You can usually pick them up for like maybe 10 to 20 bucks. Remember to always leave them cracked because if you do have a lipo go bad in one of them, you don't want to create like a little bomb. So just leave a little bit of airflow. You can try to drill a hole in the top or something. It's mainly just to keep it in the metal to keep any type of fire contained That's inside right. the metal. That's right. If you've got it sitting on a wooden workbench, then you, you want to have it in that metal ammo can. You're going to be much, much more likely to be safe. But speaking of ammo cans, we didn't put this on the list, but you need to have a, um, a lipo, lipo bag. bag. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> it's just a smaller, more compact way of keeping your batteries safe really we use while you're charging that's right we use a lipo bag so that we put the battery in it and you can run the wires out of it while you're charging your batteries but keep in mind you should never leave a lipo unattended that's right yeah. if you have any battery questions let us know in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them i pride myself in in knowing battery stuff fairly well now the last thing on our list is fairly simple it's just a hex set a really good hex set yeah, anytime I'm building something or tinkering on one of these back here or airplanes, you really need a good hex set, a good Phillips screwdriver set, and maybe occasionally a little flathead screwdriver. But Plus, you don't know the amount of furniture and appliances we have repaired with our good hex sets. That's right, yeah. <laughs> it always come in handy. It comes in handy for everything. But uh, for years, I struggled not having the right set of tools. It's just nice to have the tools when you need them. Now I can sit down and build an airplane or take a car apart in a matter of like minutes compared to what I used to as a younger self in the hobby. It's just because I didn't have the right tools. I'd have to run down to the hobby shop and buy that one that I needed. Might as well just get a nice uh, set that has everything you need. And so we'll link one of my favorites in the description box below. Everything here is just to help you guys enjoy the hobby a little bit more. There you have it. There's our list for the RC plane enthusiast, car enthusiast, boat enthusiast, in our opinion. These items are perfect for anybody in the RC hobby. If we left anything out, please let us know in the comments below. We love hearing your all's opinions. Maybe there's something that you use that we don't use and we can next year let everyone know about it if we loved it too. So please let us know if we left anything off. And let us know your opinion of Nate's sweater. I bought it for him. I love it. It's okay. <laughs> it's got planes on it, so I'm alright. Maybe I'll see if I can find a good car one too, you guys. And if I do, I'll link that down there as well.
forgetting to enjoy this hobby with my wife, my little dog, my family, and sharing these experiences with you guys. I wanna say a massive thanks to God. Also a huge thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. Everything on this list was accessories and things to make the hobby more fun. But if you're just getting started and you need something super cool to get up and running, especially through this winter, Popeye loves chasing this one. <laughs> this is the Max Smasher. It's 150 bucks. It's got a two-speed transmission. Abby and I love playing with these inside, outside, set up as crawlers. And then I also love the power wagon. We'll have one of those videos popping up right about now for you guys to check out. We'll see you over there. Bye.